Hi everyone and welcome to today's General Hospital recap. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. Thank you for being so patient with me. I was in the hospital this morning and hopefully I'm getting better. Uh, so let's get right to it. So at the hospital, speaking of hospitals, uh, Tracy is giving the hospital board a piece of her mind and Dr. Vin is planning on leaving and Monica is like, hey, hey, not so fast. Uh, Obrecht's reign is over officially and uh, she's upset obviously and she was offered a spot on staff as a doctor and Obrecht asked if the new chief of staff is going to honor that and Tracy's like I don't know let's ask her Monica and I was like oh Monica uh, so uh, Monica has accepted the chief of staff position and Obrecht is livid and then Monica as her first order of business offers a Dr. Finn the job and he's not accepting and I'm like um, hello they did not resurrect Michael Easton for nothing so he says he has research he's doing and uh, Monica and Tracy are like this hospital has a proud tradition of sponsoring research and he's like so I can like do whatever I want and they're like yeah and he's like alright and he accepts so uh, Monica is now handed all of Obrecht's outstanding projects that she was overseeing, and she was overseeing a lot. Uh, Nathan and Maxie, so at their place, uh, she's starting to plan the wedding, and she wants to know details about his previous wedding, so they're not alike, and he's like, it was a summer courthouse wedding, like, there was, we, it wasn't even just us, it was a bunch of people, like, it was nothing special, and she wonders what would happen if Claudette came looking for him one day, and he's like, that'll never happen. And she's like, you know what, I'm done asking about Claudette. Uh, J. Sam adventure, uh, J. Sam's adventure has come to an end, and they don't want to get up, and Creeper is still at the window. And uh, then they decide, they finally get up, they get dressed, and Sam sees a footprint where the window is, and they speculate on who it could be. And they're like, well, maybe it's the guy who owns the barn. And Jason's like, well, whoever it is, we gave him a good show. And I'm like, see, that's... That's like what I would say, right? Uh, so at Franco and Nina's, we're led to believe, and I believe like he totally is, uh, that Franco was the creeper because like he's taking off these muddy boots and he was out all night. And he does like a pretty impressive cartwheel, which I know is like a weird thing to say, but it happened. And he says he was painting all night and went for a drive and then slept in his car. Uh, so he wants he and Nina to decide what they're doing like right now. Like they're at a fork in the road. Which way are we going? So they hash it out and she's like, I need understanding and compassion. Can you give that to me? And obviously the answer is no because... Uh, they decide to break up after how they have a real heart to heart and he wishes he was enough for her and so does she. So uh, Nina's leaving and she's like, it's more you and Kiki's apartment, you keep it. And Franco's mean about Nina leaving. That's my mom's input. And, and like he, he really was because she's like struggling with her bags and she's like, I've never done this before. And he's like, what, walk through a door? And she's like, no, broken up with someone. And she's like, and he's like, well, it's the advice is still the same. One foot in front of the other. And I'm like, you're kind of a jerk. At the Metro Court, uh, Sonny asks how Puerto Rico was. Asks Michael, by the way. Uh, it's Michael, Sonny, and Carly. I'm sorry. I'm trying to concentrate here. So, uh, Sonny wants Michael to get out of this. Like, he wants him to be done with Carlos and Sabrina and all of it. Because he feels like this will, uh, this will lead to no good when it comes to Michael. And they tell him to accept Sabrina's decision. Like, she left with Carlos. And, uh, Sam meets with Maxie at the bar. And Maxie wants to hire her to get to the bottom of Nathan's secret. And Sam says that as her friend, she cannot take the case. And Maxie isn't happy about that. Um... Basically, Maxie isn't happy about how Nathan responded to her bringing up Claud Claudette possibly coming back. Like, he, she she wanted him to be like, I would slam the door in her face, but he didn't say that. And she says that she'll find someone else who can help her. And uh, also at the Metro Court, Dr. Finn wants a table for one. Uh, Carly comes over and he tells her he was offered a full-time position. And he asks about Jocelyn and Carly's like, she's doing good. Um... She tells him there were circumstances around Jocelyn's transplant like a year ago that came to light and that there's a dark side of General Hospital. Yeah, you got that right. And she tells him like the details of the transplant. At the PCPD, Michael wants a message passed along, wanted a message passed along, and apparently it was. And he wants to talk with Carlos. And Carlos is already in that interrogation room, like ready to talk to him, which like is... A like, I'm sorry, Carlos has more visitors than I do, okay? Uh, Obrecht visits Nathan, something's wrong, obviously, and she tells him she's not chief of staff anymore, 
and she also tells him she lost her temper with the board and now her future isn't assured and she says to say nothing about Claudette. Uh, Michael wants to know where Sabrina is and Carlos is like, Sabrina is fine and Michael is the furthest thing from her mind. And Carlos insults Michael and says he's like his father and insults his father too. At Sonny's office, Jason comes in, he loops him in uh, on the Michael, Sabrina and how Michael can't let it go, that whole thing and he thinks Jason can get through to him. And that end scene, Woo! Alright, so Monica comes in contact with a board member who voted against her, and it turns out Tracy is a huge reason that Monica got her job back. Um, apparently, Nathan will end up in Pentonville if the Claudette truth came out, and he's worried about word getting back to Dante, like Roxy will tell Lulu to tell Dante, and I'm like, no, please don't ruin Nathan. He's like our good guy. Please don't do this to our hospital. Um, Dr. Finn asks Carly if she's sure she wants to know where the kidney came from because it's probably not a happy story. Probably ended with someone waking up in a tub full of ice. I've seen TV. I know what happens. Um, Franco is sketching Nina, but like evil Nina, he should be on base off. And Jason promises to help Michael out and Michael kind of lets Carlos get to him. And then Carlos says that he and Sabrina got married. What? I mean, it makes sense, but like, seriously? All right, uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to vote for Character of the Week. And I will see you tomorrow, probably around 8 o'clock, for more General Hospital. Okay, bye.